How to belly dance, lesson number one. How to stand. First of all, I need to talk to you about the spine. Think about Lego blocks, you know? There's a Lego block, a pillow, a Lego block, a pillow. And they're all stacked on top of each other. What we try to do is to straighten the line of Lego blocks and to create as much uh, room as possible in between with the pillows. Okay, now I need you to stand up. Please stand up. Come on, get off your chair. Okay. If I ask you, please stand as straight as you can. You'll probably make one of these mistakes. If you think, I'm going to stand straight. Most people pull their shoulders back, push their uh, chest up. And they have their heads down a little bit or up as well. And if they have their heads up, if your head's up, you probably have your pelvis tilted to the back to compensate. Okay, this is not good. Now I need you to try something. Please, you stand as straight as you can. Make ballerina arms, put them up, 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 up above your head. Okay, probably this doesn't feel comfortable. You feel a strain here in your shoulder and in your neck. There's not much room here in between. And it's a little bit like the walking dead. So, ah. And if we look sideways and I ask you, please put your hands over your head to the back. Uh, you cannot go as far as you want because uh, your shoulder will stop you. There's a lock here. And it hurts a lot. So, I'm going to teach you how to stand straight. Because if you stand straight, your posture is better, your standing is better, your walking is better, your dancing is better, you feel more self-confident, and other people will notice as well. But for me, that's not important what other people think. Anyway, how to stand straight. First of all, your feet are straight forward. Try to leave room between your feet. It's very important because if your feet are next to each other like this and your hips are here, you will get a lot of strain on your knee area and we don't want that. So we want our legs to be as straight as possible. So the best way to do that is to align your hips with your knees, with your ankles. Uh, if that's too difficult for you, at least leave a space of one foot between your feet. So they are not together, there's always some space in between. Your knees need to be a little bent. Just unlock them. Never, ever, 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 ever lock your knees. Please, never ever do that again. So unlock your knees a little bit. For daily life and for belly dancing, you go even a little bit deeper. The deeper you go, the better your isolations will be. Okay, next is the pelvis. We want the pelvis to tilt a little bit forward, but I don't want you to push from behind forward, but I want you to pull here, the lower belly muscles here, from your uh, belly button down. You pull them a little bit together and see what happens. The pelvis is going to move. It's like you want to sit on your tailbone, uh, like a kangaroo. So we pull this a little bit in. This part of the spine gets longer. There's more room between the vertebra and the little pillows are in maximum size now. The next thing we need to do is take care of the shoulder and upper body. Uh, the shoulder is like a gear in a car, you know, not an automatic car but a European car. So we just need to put the shoulder in another gear and I'll teach you how to. You put your shoulder a little bit forward, up, back and down. And now it's in another gear. You immediately feel that there's more room here. Before your shoulders were probably a little bit curved now, like there was a, a moon shape here going on. 
and now you straighten it up you make a flat chest don't pull your shoulders together that's not good for you you just put your shoulder forward upward backward down in a new position okay if we do the ballerina move again Ta -da! we go up 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 and very easy you have a lot of room here between your neck and your shoulder your arms feel very light because your shoulder is carrying the weight in the new uh, gear you're in and you don't have the feeling like you have to carry your shoulders and be like you know the walking dead no they're just hanging around floating in the air somewhere it's very light and easy and I, if I ask you to see it from the side uh, and you put your arms back again see how easy that is no problem anymore you don't feel strain you don't feel pain it's just as easy peasy as it can be so shoulders in another gear next thing you need to do is take care of the head the hat it's all in the head your chin shouldn't be up down or forward but just put it back a little bit like an inch or half an inch just a little bit in what you do is you create room here in your spine you stagger uh, the vertebra straight up and your weight of your head it's like 10 pounds a human head it's crazy it's so heavy so we don't want that weight to hang here somewhere or there and put us off balance we want the weight to be exactly in the middle of the spine so if you put your chin in just a little bit your spine is aligned and the weight of your head is being supported by all of your body and not just the front of your body or the back okay um, next thing you need to know is you have to feel like a puppet on strings you know like a marionette so we cut our body in half yeah and now we have two separate parts the upper part of our body is on strings there's a puppeteer somewhere there in the air and he's grabbing us and holding us and um, pulling us up so we don't have to carry the weight of the upper body it's being carried for us so there's a string here on my head you see if I pull the string my body will be longer this part of my body will be longer I stretch all the vertebra and this is the maximum room for the pillows uh, which is much easier because if there isn't any room between your vertebra and your pillows are very narrow then if you want to dance and especially belly dance it, it will hurt you a lot so we don't do that we try to make room so you pull no you're being pulled up you're being pulled up and you don't have to carry anything the upper part of your body is being carried for you the last part is the weight of your underbody you have to um, make sure your weight is divided between your left foot and your right foot equally and between the front of your feet and the back of your feet equally so your weight is on two feet equally um, and uh, the weight of your uh, lower body is being pulled down it's going in the ground in mother earth Gaia yeah so the weight of our upper body is being lifted up the weight of our lower body is being pulled down and there you have it it's maybe a little bit strange for you now because it's it's new posture you're not used to this posture and maybe feel a little weird or funny or I don't know but if you practice this a lot you'll get used to it and it's your new posture and you will notice immediately and the funny thing is 
I'm not a big girl. Uh, I mean, I'm old, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not long, you know, not tall. Uh, but people always say to me, yeah, but you're such a tall woman. But I'm not. I'm really not. Only because my posture is being lifted and being pulled down, I look much longer than I am. Much taller. So, uh, if you pull your spine two ways, up and down, you have much room, you can move easy and you can move easy with your daily life, in your daily life uh, and with dancing and that's what we want to do. I hope this video was very helpful for you and uh, if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, put it on the comments down below and I'll try to make as many videos for you as possible and be your online personal teacher for belly dance as long as I can. I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.